Hey, first of all, I just want to say uh, thank you to Coach Mora for this opportunity uh, to be a uh, valued uh, staff member uh, for him uh, to help him, he and the UCLA football program. Uh, we work together as an offense. Uh, we're going to continue some of the really good things that's happened here in the last four years. Uh, we are going to uh, make sure that we work on our fundamentals and our discipline on winning that line of scrimmage. We will that we're going to have a balanced offense. And to win the Pac-12, I really believe you have to have a balanced offense. And that will open up and it'll stretch the field vertically. And from that, uh, uh, I think uh, we have a pretty good quarterback here. Uh, we have a really uh, experienced staff, not only played the game, but coached the game at the highest level. I think I'm the dumbest guy in the room. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it gives me an opportunity to keep learning and growing. And uh, I think it's coming together. Uh, I wish we would have more spring practice, but the rules are the rules. But uh, I'm very uh, grateful for this opportunity. And I, like I said before, I value my role as an assistant coach here for Coach Jim. Thank you. Any questions? How do you think your offensive line is doing uh, three weeks in? I think they're doing a, a really well, you know, they're gelling, coming together. Uh, they're going through some some uh, injuries and, and pain and stuff, but I, I like their, I like uh, what Coach Clem, and, and, and they're a very tight group. And uh, we're giving them uh, an opportunity to, I think one of the hardest things to do is, as, a, as a coach that's been around and, you know, from the NFL to college is to drive people off the ball. And, so we're, we're creating some angles, some double teams, and things that way that we can uh, work and, 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 and utilize their, you know, dropping their pads, coming off the ball, and it helps with the pass game because they don't know if it's run or pass when you're balanced. I think they're coming together really well. I'm, I'm really proud of uh, our, our two tackles. And it's really nice. Our center is, is fighting through some things, but he's out there. Uh, every single one, uh, Pawasi is gutting it through, our, our right guard. And uh, they're they're getting better every day, and uh, I wouldn't trade them for anybody. That's a tough loss. So Brendel uh, brought a lot to the table as far as leadership and making calls at the line of scrimmage. How's uh, Scott doing in that? Oh, I, I I've been around some pretty good centers now, and uh, I put Scott Quisenberry in making the calls, technique wise, uh, fundamentally wise. Uh, he's a very smart football IQ kid, but uh, I like his aggressiveness. I like the anchor and his weight and coming off the football. So it's, uh, uh, well, I feel pretty good. But like every, every college program around the country, you're always concerned about your depth. And uh, we're, we're to keep developing our guys. Where's the biggest progress you've seen with Soso and his running style and just the way he's developed? Uh, you know, I, we've worked on it. He, like Nathan, like a lot of high school running backs, uh, uh, when they come out, they run so upright because they've never been hit. Right. They're the best athlete on the field. I uh, tell them all the time, the difference between high school, college, and the NFL is how fast the hole closes and how fast the collision happens. So in high school, the collision never happens sometimes, so they run straight up. In college, it happens a little faster. In the NFL, it happens really fast. So you have to run with the collision balance, and that's what Paul Perkins developed over the year, and have a strong base, and then have that burst to get through the tight spots. Uh, pass pro, uh, a lot of the pass pro is just diagnosing uh, what the angles are. And he's learning that, and uh, that, that running back group's pretty good now. I'm having fun. I can't wait for that. Can I talk about the new guys? No, yeah. I can't. Can I? Yeah, the two new guys coming in, they're going to be pretty good, too. It's fun. We're establishing something here that's special, you know, with this running back groups that are coming in. They're challenging each other. They're learning to compete, but still have that chemistry. So it, it, it's kind of cool. Is it nice having true fullbacks to work with as well? Oh yeah, you know me being a fullback myself, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's good. Those those, those guys are, they're, they're, you know, you, you always look as a, when you're putting your group together, you're looking for the all-out guys, you know, the guys that go all out all the time, and that's what those guys do. They don't say much. They just grind and they just go hit people. They don't get the glory. They maybe get a ball down the road here, but uh, you know, when you have that in your room, it, it brings everybody together.
Did you have your kind of pick of looking at guys to see who could move over to that spot? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, you know, I watched uh, Cam run over our backs in the scout team, and he was a rugby player, so I was kind of working it. <laughs> right. You know, there's some kids that you work, and then, you you, you know, when, when the coach says no, you move on. <laughs> you know, and uh, so, but yeah, I was, I was, I mean, Anu's whole family played running backs, and, uh, you know, I'm watching them, and I go, hey, you can do it. He's pretty good at running the football too. It's, it's kind of fun. It, it's really fun watching those guys. What's your vision for the tight ends in this offense? And this vision, the tight ends are involved. They're probably going to be out there. You know, probably 90, probably higher than that in the offense. Uh, we're going to we're going to we're going to widen the edge. Uh, we're going to win at the point and then get some mismatch. And, uh, you know, we're going to formation things that hopefully put, put our tight ends on uh, a lesser athlete. And, uh, and, and that being said, and also if, if they do a, bring a better athlete there, and then, then we got to be able to pound that better athlete. So uh, we're going to just widen the edge, and they're going to be very heavily involved. Are you uh, confident enough in your fullbacks that they're going to be an advantage running in short yardage situations? Yes. And uh, and again, it's just uh, it's how they learn to, you know, we're, we're, we're teaching fundamentals, and part of that fundamentals is teaching how defenses space, how te defenses fit, and uh, when when they know that, there's times that they don't really have to hit that guy. He's he's got contained. Just attack his outside shoulder. He'll run the contain. But if you run to his inside shoulder, he's got his job done. So they're learning those type of things, uh, the fundamental part, and. Uh, and uh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. How'd you conceive of this offense? Did you take uh, what was I, I here been, before, been, and then? Yeah, we like a you know statement before. We're going to continue the good things that have happened here. Uh, but over 20 plus years, I've taken the best of everything I've been around, from uh, from college to the NFL, back to college, and uh, and just the team mindset offense. If that makes sense. Can you talk about the new cadence system with Josh and just how much control he's going to have? No, because uh, that's an advantage. We're going to keep it to ourselves. <laughs> how much control is he going to have? He's got it. Our quarterback has all the control. Uh, you know, I've had in the NFL situations where, you know, you, the, whatever comes out of the quarterback's mouth he, is final say. I don't want them to run out and look to the sidelines and, and I'm yelling at them on something and the quarterback said something else and they're not on the same page. Our quarterback has the final say. And that's part of our training as a coach is to train him all week to make sure that his final say is the right say. Make sense? Who's the last quarterback you worked with in that situation? What's that? Who's the last quarterback you worked with in that kind of situation? That kind of situation? Uh, probably Collins at Tennessee. He had a lot of command. Uh, you know, uh, Collins had a lot of command in terms of uh, Cadence, in terms of uh, making sure that we're in the right set, and uh, and I always felt that you know wherever I went, I took from that. I mean, he used to get me to jump off sides, and I was a coach, <laughs> and uh, so uh, it, it, for him to take that, and he played what 16 something years, and and uh, I always put that in the back of my mind that that's that's what I wanted. I wanted I want a QB. We, and I say me, but we would like a quarterback to take that the command. And, uh, and when he does, it's a pretty special thing. A guy with that kind of football intelligence, have you been around, you know, a quarterback who's got that kind of innate sense? Yeah, yeah, we have. And, you know, there's, there's, and again, he, 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 there's a lot of distractions here now. Right. You know, the NFL, been around guys like that, but, you know, that was from, they were in the film room at 5 in the morning before everyone got there at 8, you know, and, and, and guys would stay after practice and work with the receivers and running back on the pass game. So I've been around that, but for a college kid, no. It's all the distraction. Well, if you call academics history, it's not here at UCLA. i got to correct myself. It's not a distraction. It's just part of being a student